At the beginning of our list, we have a building that is near its completion and that you might be able to visit in the very near future. Home to the famous Petronas Towers and several other jaw-dropping skyscrapers, the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, is no stranger to ultra-tall buildings. And while the Petronas Towers held the record for world's tallest building between 1998 and 2004, they have since been surpassed many times. But not far away, another skyscraper has been slowly rising up from the ground. Since its construction started in 2014, the so-called Merdeka PNB 118 has stretched a staggering 2,233 feet, or 680.5 meters, into the sky, making it the tallest building in Malaysia and the South Pacific. It also beat the Chinese Shanghai Tower as the world's second tallest building. This means that if you stack seven big bends on top of each other next to it, the Merdeka would still be over 120 feet taller. The Merdeka 118 was designed to resemble the first Malaysian Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman's stature as he proclaimed Malaysian independence on 31st of August 1957, chanting Merdeka seven times. At its official opening in 2023, with 100 stories of office space, 17 stories for hotels and residences, and a shopping center at its base, this insane megascraper will cover a massive 3.1 million square feet of floor space in total. That's almost enough square feet to cover 54 football fields. To support it, the tower's structural system will consist of eight mega columns around the exterior, along with a three-story deep outrigger system that will root the tower in place. These components will ensure the tower has a high structural stiffness so it can withstand the strong air currents and avoid the hypothetical disaster of a $1.5 billion giga skyscraper being taken down by high altitude winds. While being the second tallest building in the world is an impressive achievement, it remains to see how long the Merdeka Tower will keep this title, given the many other insane building projects under construction around the world. But for now, the Merdeka remains one of the most impressive constructions ever completed by humans. We're sure looking forward to visiting the tower the next time we are in Malaysia. Number 2. The Big Bend The Big Apple was the city that pioneered skyscrapers before everyone else and has since become a model and inspiration for other big cities around the world. New York City's skyline is home to some of the most recognizable skyscrapers in the world, but there's a new building under planning that's crazier than anything New York has seen before. It's called the Big Bend, and it's, well, strange, to put it mildly. And speaking of Big Bends, it's almost 6.5 times the height of London's Big Ben. While still being a conceptual skyscraper, there are serious plans being worked on to make this odd skyscraper a reality. And while it's not gunning for the number one spot as the tallest building in the world, if ever realized, the Big Bend will capture the spot as the longest skyscraper in the world. Yes, we know that sounds strange, so let us explain. While the building stretches up 2,000 feet above the city, it bends in the middle and trails back down another 2,000 feet towards the Earth onto another separate lot. This would give it a length about 4,000 feet, give or take, which is absolutely phenomenal. The design was unveiled by Oyo Studio back in 2017 as a fun attempt at circumventing New York's very strict zoning regulations. While there's no limit to the height of a building, New York City does control a building's bulk and density by its floor area ratio. This means buildings are restricted to fit the square feet of the lot. This is because locals want to prevent massive building complexes in residential areas. But if you're a real estate developer, you're looking to maximize the floor space and thereby your return on investment. And the way Oyo gets around this is by utilizing two separate lots. The exclusive area known as Billionaire's Row is a district that allows developers to build up to 10 times the floor area ratio of a single lot. It's already home to a handful of super slim and tall buildings, and there are no rules saying you can't connect two separate lots with a building like the Big Bend. This means they can maximize the floor area ratio 100 times with the two separate lots. Some would say this is an ingenious way of solving the zoning regulation problem. Others would say it's hilarious at best. The Big Bend is planned to have custom-built elevators that can change the direction once they reach the top floors, go around the bend, and then head down on the other side. Which means the building would be worth visiting just for its peculiar elevator ride.
But the Big Bend has received a lot of criticism from neighbors and locals who are not nearly as excited about it as the developers. And there are still some issues that have to be resolved before the Big Bend can finally become reality. What about you? Would you like to visit the Big Bend? Number 3. J.P. Morgan Chase Headquarter Not far from Billionaire's Row in Midtown, another staggering tower is under construction. 270 Park Avenue, also known as the J.P. Morgan Chase Building, has been the headquarters for the world's largest bank for quite some time. The older building, built in the 1960s, had been home to J.P. Morgan Chase for quite some time, but was demolished between 2019 and 2021 to make way for a new futuristic tower. The new J.P. Morgan Chase headquarter will be an all-electric skyscraper with net-zero operational emissions, 100% powered by renewable energy sourced from a New York State hydroelectric plant. Furthermore, it will be one of the tallest buildings in New York City, and it will be able to house 14,000 employees, which is four times the capacity of the older building. At 1,388 feet and 60 stories high, the new tower comes in just taller than the spire of the nearby One Vanderbilt and behind One World Trade Center and Central Park Tower in terms of height. Triple pane glazing and automatic solar shades will increase energy efficiency, and the building's intelligent technology will predict, respond, and adapt to energy needs. Using advanced water storage and reuse systems, water usage will be reduced by more than 40% and the project has recycled or reused as much as 97% of materials from the previous building's demolition, which is phenomenal. The building is set to house a state-of-the-art health and wellness center offering fitness areas, yoga and cycling rooms, medical services and more, a modern food hall and a 60th story conference center at the top of the tower. And while construction began in 2021, it's estimated that the tower will open its doors already in 2025. Number 4. Oblisco Capital Egypt, home of wonders like the pyramids and the Great Sphinx, have in recent years seen the planning of another impressive monument in a similar pharaonic design, namely the Oblisco Capital. At a jaw-dropping 3,280 feet tall, which is almost twice the size of Chicago's Willis Tower, the world's tallest building up until 1998, and a cost of $3.2 billion, which is comparable to the GDP of a small African country, this astonishing obelisk will serve as the centerpiece of Egypt's new capital city. The new administrative capital of Egypt and its impressive new obelisk will again place Egypt on the map, attracting the world's attention. This brand new city is designed to boost the country's economic development, and with the building of the Oblisco Capital, be home to the tallest building in all of Africa and possibly in the entire world. Stretching high into the sky, the Oblisco Capital will be a gigantic building in the Art Deco style design, which will dwarf the current tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. Consisting of 250 floors, the floor space will be more than 13 million square feet, almost twice the size of Disneyland. Or perhaps a better description, the floor space of the obelisk will be like stacking 233 football fields on top of one another. Huge golden fans will rotate throughout the day according to the sun's inclination, reducing the heat inside without detracting from the shining facade. The development of the new capital started in 2015, and since then a lot of infrastructure has been laid down. But the construction of the tower won't begin until at least 2024, with a completion date as early as 2030. And with some recent delays and funding problems, you might have to wait some more years before this project can become a reality. However, with Egypt being home to many of the ancient wonders of the world, let's wish them good luck in adding another wonder to their list. We are all very excited. Number 5. Jeddah Tower while Dubai's Burj Khalifa currently holds the title for the world's tallest building, their neighbors in Saudi Arabia are working hard to steal that crown. And while you might think the Egyptian obelisk is a crazy tall structure, here we will show you an even taller one. In the city of Jeddah, the construction of the so-called Jeddah Tower started back in 2013, a building planned to steal Dubai's current record for the world's tallest building. 
With a budget of $1.23 billion, the Jetta Tower has high ambitions. When completed, it will reach a staggering 3,281 feet into the sky, which is more than 560 feet higher than the Burj Khalifa. The building will be made up of 600 residential and hotel rooms spread over 167 floors. Here, visitors will travel up and down the tower via double-decked elevators at a top speed of 32 feet per second. But with this unusually fast elevator, it would still take almost two minutes to reach the top of the building. To put it into perspective, the Jetta Tower will use enough steel to build eight Eiffel Towers and enough concrete to build six Hoover Dams. But this incredibly ambitious project hasn't come without any problems. While work started in 2013, with the podium structure and tower base reaching the 63rd floor, it ran into a halt in 2018, with less than 25% of the building complete. A national crackdown on corruption saw the government seize billions of dollars in assets as they went after high-ranking businessmen, among them a chairman on the Jetta Tower project, which caused a huge setback for the project. This has caused the project to stand still for several years, and though the tower was supposed to be ready in 2020, it is still unfinished, with no end date in sight. So, for now, the record holders in Dubai can sleep well at night. But who knows, the continuation of the Jetta Tower may be right around the corner. Number 6. Space Elevator Okay, we can admit that the last building on our list is not exactly a skyscraper, nor is it likely to be completed any time in the near future. But to your surprise, there are serious plans to make it a reality in the upcoming decades, hopefully within our lifetime. And as crazy and insane as it seems, we're talking about an actual space elevator. For as long as space exploration has existed, rockets have been the only way for humans to reach space. But in the future, we could make use of a colossal space elevator. While it's not a skyscraper, the space elevator would be the tallest reaching structure ever imagined by humans. Extending from the Earth's surface up to an altitude of 22,000 miles, this ultra-mega structure would be the most insane engineering and construction project in the history of mankind. And naturally, we feel this should deserve a spot at the top of our list. Unbelievably so, NASA and other scientists actually claim the science and concept behind the space elevator is sound. And scientists around the world are optimistic that such a space elevator can be built. And there are currently scientists conducting tests and research to develop the technology needed. What might also surprise you is that the idea of a space elevator is not a new one. In fact, the idea was born as far back as 1895 by a Russian scientist named Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, and there has since been several attempts to make a realistic plan for how such an elevator can be constructed. Well over a century later, science fiction has become actual science, and we could see a space elevator in use much sooner than expected. The biggest space agencies want to build motorized elevator pods that are powered up to space via one long tether. Stretching up from a spaceport at the equator, the elevator would lead to a space station in an orbit overhead, and the centrifugal forces of the Earth's rotation would hold the entire structure aloft. Theoretically, rockets, satellites, and even people could be shipped into space this way, opening up a brand new gateway into space tourism that would make Elon Musk nervous. Even though the structure alone would cost a mind-blowing $10 billion to build, NASA actually claims it would be both less risky and less expensive to fund than a lot of pre-existing space programs. Considering the current cost of launching anything into space is at least $3,500 per pound. The space elevator, though, could achieve that for as little as $25 per pound. But while it will be a cheaper way to travel to space, it will also take a lot more time. Just think about it. Instead of traveling with a rocket, you would literally take the elevator. And even with the elevator traveling at a theoretical top speed of 190 miles per hour against gravity, it would still take a whopping five days to travel the distance of 22,000 miles up to the top. That's one hell of a long elevator ride. But the biggest obstacle for now is the issue of finding suitable building materials. You see, traditional building materials like steel would make the tether too heavy to launch into orbit. One plausible solution might be super-strong carbon nanotubes made of fullerene and graphene 
materials that are both light and ultra strong. However, it is still difficult to produce these materials in large quantities, and to date only small amounts and short strands have been successfully produced. However, there are several companies and organizations working on solving the many issues, and both China and Japan have started pre-construction work on their own space elevators. The Chinese say they plan to build a space elevator by 2045, and Japan say they will build it by 2050. And with that, the space elevator race has already begun. Pretty exciting, isn't it? <laughs>